Morning, you guys. We got Jay's behind the camera, and today we are doing an experience video on this the brand new McLaren 570S Spider. I want to show you around all the features that this car has, which could potentially be new, although there aren't that many because this is effectively a 570S without the roof. We're going to start with the exterior with all the aesthetics. So, first of all, this car, Vega Blue, brand new color launched for the 570S Spider. Um, in my opinion, looks absolutely gorgeous. There are a few other um, special colors that they're launching. There are the somewhat launch edition cars that they're making, um, which are the first ones that will hit the road. There are quite a few of those in these specific colors. They look fantastic. Now this particular car on the front splitter does not have carbon, but you can spec out full carbon fiber for the whole front splitter here, which looks absolutely fantastic. It does come standard with a four wheel lift, um, which you put on the stalk, which I'll show you inside. Now that's useful if you do have the carbon fiber in front. Apart from that, it's all 570S. So a few cool features on the 570S. If you stay there, I'm gonna whack the boot open. This is one of my favorite things, which is so convenient, you don't necessarily think about it. Normally with a boot like this, you have a little latch you need to pull in order to open the boot. Well, with this, it just opens straight away. It makes it so much easier to access the boot, which is quite a large boot. We've got two big bags in there and it's absolutely no problem. You can fit plenty of stuff and much bigger than competitors such as the R8. Little push to go back down. Around the side, we have the 570S side skirts, which are much bigger than on the 540C, for example. Uh, this car is only available in 570S. Um, you can't get a 540 convertible yet, I believe. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. We've got these uh, slightly new wheels as well on the 570S. Comes standard with carbon ceramic brakes all around. So we've got these sort of slate grey wheels with the with the polished aluminium look on the uh, on the actual rim. It looks fantastic. Then sports series cars much easier to get into the carbon tub it has a carbon tub by the way is a lot easier to get into compared to the old super series cars so the 650s and the 675 lt on the interior we've got this beautiful beige uh, color everything's leather all alcantara on the dashboard really nice finish uh, mclaren have always been big with alcantara and they've done it again with this car it looks fantastic apart from that it is all familiar, it is all um, like in the 570S. So we have in this car the optional Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which is absolutely fantastic. We've been rocking that quite a bit. The screen in the middle there, which is a touch screen, where you've got your little shortcut buttons, like your home button in the middle, sat nav buttons, ventilation buttons, mute, voice command, back and, and settings. Um, so that's all there, quite easy to use. The only problem is with the sun, it's quite hard to see uh, when you're driving with the roof down. Down here is all the same. We've got the uh, control active panel. Um, so you press the active button and then you can skip through normal sport and track modes for both the powertrain and uh, the handling. Um, and it makes a massive difference actually when you've got it all in comfort. It's very comfortable and all in track, it's very hardcore. Those also change uh, the look on the dashboard. So you can go from a P1 style dashboard to a more normal style dashboard because that's all electric. We've got two more buttons down here a launch button and an auto start stop off button. Now then launch has been deactivated on these press cars so we can't show you on that, what that's like. Here it's all similar apart from two new switches. So all of this we've seen on 570S before, a lock button, the boot button, drive neutral, reverse and hazards. But now we've got this button on the left here which is quite cool. If you look back here, that puts up and down this little rear uh, window. So when you have the roof up, you can lower that and hear the sound of the car. That's something 570S coupes do not have and is a great addition. You then also got the roof button. So you pull that and the roof goes up in a matter of seconds really quickly. And when it's up actually, you can do as follows. If you stay there, I'm going to skip around to the other side. You can press a button on the door here, which opens this, the tonneau they call it. Um, where you can actually store bags when the roof is up. You can't do it when the roof is down, obviously, because the roof is using up that space. But it's a cool little feature. Now, if I hop in the driver's seat now, we've got a very focused driver's area. No buttons on the steering wheel. We're here purely for the driving. We've got the paddle shifters, massive p one styled paddle shifters, which you have also in the LT. Um, all carbon fiber, obviously down, is on the left, up is on the right, but actually they're on a rocker system in McLaren's, so you can go down with the up paddle and up with the down paddle if you so wish. The dashboard is all um, all digital. You can't get your sat-nav or anything out there, you just can go through different modes. So you can go to, see, here in sport mode, it's a slightly different dash, and then it changes again a tiny bit into normal mode. Apart from that, we've got all the usual stalks behind. We've got one for all the different settings on the screens. Um, uh, cruise control, and then obviously your light 
uh, wipers and indicator stops. We then also got down on side here the electric handbrake which you push and pull to activate and on the doors all you have are the window controls and the actual handles. Now this car, 562 brake horsepower, weighs only 46 kilos more than the coupe and is absolutely fantastic to drive which is what we're going to do right now. Alright, well we're now in the car and we've noticed a few things haven't we driving around so yeah. let's start off with the negatives when you experience this car when you're driving around and living with it daily which is what this video is all about and as i mentioned the full review video driving sort of impressions and all of that stuff i am doing as well so it's either already live or will be coming very soon anyways a few things we've noticed one of which is that this screen in the middle is fantastic the system works well the speakers the bowers and wilkins speakers are very good as they were in the 570s however the sun coming in right now and it's behind as soon as you, you take the roof off you can not can't see, see anything on the screen and it's all touch screen so it's not like you can really there are a few shortcut buttons but you're mainly relying on the screen itself and for now an example is we're cruising and relying on the sat nav but i'm having to literally sit like this to be able to see where we're going so that's not ideal that does not apply however to the dashboard which is nicely shaded so that i can see very easily uh, the driving position is very nice um, as always for McLaren you're perfectly lined up the seats are comfortable we've got the comfort seats as, as I mentioned you can get the track seats which are in the yellow cars here yeah um, but yes apart from that one other thing we've noticed is the buffeting hopefully you can hear us okay we're just filming on the GoPros um, but it's quite loud in here I'm quite surprised actually you can hold a proper oh, conversation you can but it is definitely elevated yeah from I'm gonna be intrigued to see how it comes out on camera. Yeah, I hope it's okay. Yeah, I, but, you, uh, you're definitely gonna hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah sure. you're 100% gonna um, hear it. But I, I expected that. And that's with the them. window up, because you can put that window can put down. window down. And it doesn't really change much, no, does it? No, not really. But that's a negative, so if you're that's using this every day, cruising on the motorway, yeah. and uh, wanting to have the top down. But I apart from that, yeah. it feels like more of a Targa experience, doesn't it? Well, than an this, actual convertible. This aper aperture is quite small. Quite small, yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, aside from that, all the usability stuff is very McLaren. You got your active panel down here. You got all the usability stuff, which is very good. I actually think, apart from 720S, uh, that this is the best McLaren interior I've been in. The most usable, the most airy feeling. Yeah, it's um, you've got plenty of space. The visibility is fantastic. I much prefer to say the 650S or the LT, like yeah, yours, I do as well. and stuff like that. Uh, now, 720S is a big step up in terms <laughs> of yeah. uh, price, first of all, but also in terms of the yeah. feeling, the quality feel that everything has. But this is a much cheaper car. Um, you do get really the carbon all over. It's very nice. And I love how much Alcantara McLaren always use. They use There's something special about an Alcantara steering wheel. Oh, it's the nicest. You, as and soon as you touch really it, hard. it feels, you yeah. just feel sporty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This it's is, like a purposeful material. Exactly. You know? And the McLaren steering wheels are designed after Lewis Hamilton's hand. So I believe. Um, which yeah. is, he's got tiny little hands, but they, <laughs> yeah. but they feel, swim. it feels really nice, this steering wheel. So overall, experiencing the 570S Spider. It's fast. setup of the car or the fact that the yeah. roof's been removed but that I'll talk about more in my full-blown driving review this is more of just uh here's what it's yeah. like basically if you wanted to live with this car the boot I'm space interested is to see what it's like when we get on some like country roads yeah. rather than because we're going like quite quickly with us being on a motorway, motorway yeah. so it'll be interesting to see what the buff things like at like a lower speed exactly exactly which it won't be that bad no, for but sure. you do want to be able to I mean I've been in some some cars which have hardly any buffeting yeah. even at yeah, motorway yeah. speeds um, but you want it to be properly solid now it does feel very tight and stuff all of that i'll talk about more in the other one we managed to fit both of our bags in the front yeah which is no pretty problem. good no problems at all you also have in this one more storage space uh well technically around the same storage spaces in the coupe because you don't have that massive uh, little shelf behind you but you do have a little tonneau they call it yeah space under so if you have the roof up you can basically hide luggage where the roof would go when it's uh, down which is pretty cool another cool user usable uh, feature on this car but overall, as long as you didn't rely on that when you 
go traveling and then you're like, I want my roof down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it's not. Yeah. Yeah. But um, no, it's very good. It's very good. This guy is basically, and no surprise to you guys, a 570S without a roof. Um, which is no bad thing. It's, it's, it's no bad thing, good. but it's kind of hard to know how to approach the car to give you anything really insightful because yeah. they have taken the roof off a of 570. Yeah. Interestingly for me, uh, this might make this car the most complete package. Yeah, absolutely. Because with them having a carbon tub, it doesn't no change structural the in yeah. integrity issues. Uh, and why wouldn't you want to have the ability to take the roof off? That's the thing. Also, I think McLaren have nailed it aesthetically because a, a lot of manufacturers, when they take the roof off, they just lose the lines of the car. Well, because they like designed them as a coupe, and yeah. then after, like, oh wait, let's make a spider. That's really good. Yeah. Whereas this, they designed it from scratch with the yeah. coupe as a spider. So yeah. that's pretty cool. So it, it looks awesome. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, we've got a speed camera coming up. Um, but no, it is, I, I really, really do like this car. I had something I was gonna say, which I've forgotten. As an experience, also one of the main things is that um, you hear the engine so much more in this. 570s, we were saying sports series, maybe the best sounding McLarens out there. I think so. And so. you're just so much more exposed yeah. to the elements yeah. in this car that you just have more of an experience. We haven't properly been able to rag it yet on the little roads, but even just driving through tunnels and things like that here, we've been able to really see how that extra noise adds so much more character and flair, which is what has been missing potentially from McLarens in the past. And that adds mm -hmm. a massive amount, which I personally think um, justifies the added price because they're about ten thousand pounds more these yeah. than the coupes. Um, so you know it is a commitment, yeah. ten grand, uh, to be able to take the roof off. And I mean it's only forty six kilos heavier, dry weight. Um, so things like that, which you know, I think if I was in the market for a car like this, I would without a shadow of a doubt go for the Spider over over the oh, coupe. Oh man, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. mean the ability. Okay, that extra ten grand is fair coin. Yeah. But the ability to take the roof off and not have it compromise the car yeah. is pretty amazing, really. <laughs> they go so it's well. So cool. They go, it's so like, cool. they go like hell, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Anyways, that's my experience video on the McLaren 570 Spider. I hope you've enjoyed learning about all of the interior features, of what every button does, and all of the details about it. As I say, for all of the driving impressions, all of that stuff there is going to be another more complete video uh, this was just sort of to get there quickly and show you around the car anyways cheers guys thanks for watching as always hope to see you again very very soon i will definitely see you again very soon I'm distracted by people getting stopped by the police right there please don't subscribe also to james will be in the description down below and yeah cheers bye bye, -bye. Hey, quick cap saying saturday in the mouth no juliet for no romeo